Hello everyone, I'm going to do a review about a lot of premium diecast all in 164. And here on the right side we have some Mini GT. Here we have some Inno. Whoa, look at that Ford. Uh, some Tarmac over here. Then we got uh, some more Inno again. Kyoso here on the left side. And this is what we're going to start with, some Shugo. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is a collab with Shugo and Tarmac Works, but I think Shugo has done most of the work because this is definitely a Shugo casting. Why? Take a look at this one. It's almost identical except for the deco, of course. So let's open up uh, this one. Mm, no, first we're going to take a look at the back of the package. There is some text, freeze the image if you want to read it. You see Shugo and Tarmac are both active on social media. Got an art, uh, a barcode and article number. And I really like this package. Oh, I think I need some tools. There we go. And this one. Voila, see how easy you can open that. And here we got the model. So yes, full die cast metal body and a metal base here you see Shugo feed up T1 in a 164 scale nice black base you got rubber tires nice gray rims and it comes in a martini racing livery I like that here we see the Porsche logo martini logo and the blue and the red stripe, beautiful. And we go to the front, we see we have lanced headlights, uh, martini, we see some windscreen wipers, got a nice interior, big T1 steering wheel. Is this better with some light? Yeah, why not? And here we got the back. We have painted rear lights. It's a little bit difficult to look inside. No license plate. And we got Martini logo. A nice black bumper. Yeah, that's very beautiful. Uh, let's put this back. This right here. Um, does it roll? Yes, it rolls. Okay, let's put this one here and now let's take a look at this one. I recently found this one in Hunerbein Model Center, the one, uh, the store that I placed a video of on my YouTube channel a couple of days ago. Volkswagen T1 Lowrider, yep, exactly the same as this one, but a different deco. Edition 164 scale, Shugo, also typical Shugo packaging. Let's take a look at the back, got some text, first the image if you want to read it. And here we got the Article number and barcode, we see metal plus some plastic parts and it's officially licensed, that is what we like. Okay, let's open up. There we go. And I think I have to use, yep. But I'm prepared, got some tools here. 
There we go. And that's also the reason I like the Tarmac packaging so much. I don't like those screws. It is way better if you have packaging like this. Flip it open, take the model out, and when you finish, put the model back in. So here it is. Rendienst Porsche in a nice red color. Yeah, we got the same tires as the other one. And we got the same base. Nice black base. Beautiful big Volkswagen logo in the front and also lanced headlights. Same interior. And I also have the one from Hot Wheels. Where is it? I'm not going to take it out of the package. And you see the one from Hot Wheels is bigger. Um, also a different red color. I can tell you Shugo is true 164. We've got no windscreen wipers on this one. And here we have the base from both. I don't see a skill on the one from Hot Wheels. So yes, if I have to choose, I choose the one from Shugo. It's a little bit realisticer. And this one also rolls really good. Now here we have both of them together. They've got the same base. So about the collab, I think um, Tarmac has done the package and Shugo has done the casting. Okay, let's put this back in here. And we put the model in later. Okay, then um, I'm going to continue with Mini GT. I've got the yellow Porsche. I've got the Audi with the ski box. I've got the Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo. I've got this Land Rover Defender 110. Uh, Nigeria, Indonesia. Um, I've got this Christmas set. A little bit too late, but I can use it for next year. And it comes with two figures. And I've got this Isuzu N-Siri Vehicle Transporter. Uh, there are different colors of this one, but I'm only go for the black one, the black version. Um, we're going to start with this one. I'm really excited. I'm really curious how this one looks. See, it's all in plastic. Did not open it yet. Okay, let's take a look at the package. Here in front we got a photo of the casting that is inside. Audi RS6 Avant, silver digital camouflage, nice. With roof box or ski box. You see it's a 164 scale. 
Here we got some text. First the image if you want to read it. A barcode, article number for the ones who are interested. And what does it say? China exclusive. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it's a licensed product. That is what we like. Now let's not wait any longer and let's open up this package. And I also like this package because when you're finished, you can put the model back inside and you have a nice box for the protection. You don't have to throw it away. Much better for the environment. Okay, here we have the model. Um, first impression. Awesome, it looks very good. And it feels heavy also. Hmm, plastic base. Was not expecting that. Is it a plastic base? Yeah, I think so. Still, it looks good. It's got a lot of details. Mini GT made in China. And here we got the exhaust pipe. That looks very good. We got the back here. R6 license plate. Audi logo, we got uh, Lance the rear lights, that's good. Um, we don't have any uh, heat, how do you call it, for the... I uh, can't remember the word in English. We do have a windscreen wiper here in the back, but normally there are stripes here on the back of the window. But uh, this one don't have it. Uh, rims looks very nice, authentic. We don't see any brake disc. Nope. We have side mirrors here with some silver paint on it. Mm, let's see if we can take a look inside. It's a left hand drive. And here we see the windscreen wipers. Yeah, nice interior. Not bad at all. Here we have the front, lensed headlights, Audi logo. And here is RS6. And the roof box on top. And I don't think you can take it off. Nope. I'm not going to try that. But uh, overall, yeah, this is a really cool model. Does it roll? Yes. The wheels are wobbling a little bit. Ooh, the side mirrors, by the way, they are made of rubber. You have to be careful. Okay, let's put the car here. I also have one from Xcar Toys. This one comes also with a roof box, a ski box, and you can take it off. So you decide if you want to take it off or put it on. And you can even glue it on if you want. So let's take a look at this one. So here you see what I mean, you have the stripes here on the window, that looks very realistic, I like that. This is also digital winter camo. This is not the same model by the way. Uh, yep. We also have a plastic base. I like that they uh, give this one a silver color. I like that. Used under license. Okay. Audi RS6 Avant. And this is from the brand Xcar Toys. Nice rubber tires. 
So here you can see them both together. Again, they're not the same Audi, different types. You get an impression of how it looks. I'm still not 100% sure if this is, I think this is plastic. Yeah, it must be, uh, no, can't be. I'm not sure. Maybe you can, guys, let me know in the comment if this is a uh, metal or plastic base piece. Because I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's go to the next one. Um... Yeah, I'm also cu curious about this Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at the package. So here we got some text. Freeze the image if you want to read it. Again, barcode, article number. It's a licensed product. That is what we like. This one is also in a 164. I think they also have a yellow version, but I'm not going to order that one. This is enough for me. Okay, there you go. Whoa, this thing looks awesome. Look at those wheels. The first time I saw one in diecast was a 118 scale model and then I immediately thought it would be cool if they also did a 164 version. So I was very pleased when Mini GT pronounced this one. Look at this front, lensed headlights, they're beautiful. Amazing, well done Mini GT. Not sure what this is here on top of the roof. I'm not a Bugatti expert. Whoa, those rims. Beautiful. Exhaust pipes, brake light and rear light, and here we got the base, nice metal base, shiny also, racing tires, no profile, really cool, very realistic, well done Mini GT, thumbs up for this model, awesome. Does it roll? Yes, very smooth. Cool. Okay, let's put this one right here. Um, got to put this back so I remember. So. Okay, next one. Um, this beautiful banana Porsche with black rims. That is what I like. Okay, first we're going to take a look at the package. Porsche 911 Carrera 4S, racing yellow. Licensed products, that is what we like. Read the image if you want to read it. Barcode and article number. Okay, let's open this up. Phew. 
beautiful yellow color and I like the combination with the black, black interior, black rims, lanced headlights. I love it. Uh, side mirrors are rubber. Did they use some silver paint? Nah, -uh. a little bit of a downside. By the way, did I check the side mirrors right here? I think those are digital side mirrors. And this one, this did one got some silver paint. Looks like it, but it can also be the same gray color as the rest of the side mirror. Okay, so no silver paint on the side mirror. That's a little bit of a downside. Here we got the back and here we got the base, metal base. Mini GT made in China, some details here. Normal screws if you want to use it for custom. I also like that the rear tires are a little bit wider than the one in the front and the ones in the front. We got a mirror here in the middle. Nope, we don't just look like it. Okay. Next one. Um, this a Land Rover Defender 110, Badan, Italian, Nigeria, Indonesia. EMS. This is an EMS exclusive barcode article number, licensed product, and some text. Freeze the image if you want to read it. Okay, now let's open up the package. nice black color uh, we got the logo here on the side from what was it here you can read it yourself here we got the front a lens headlights also the same logo here on the hood here we got uh, some lights here on the top also lens Nice rubber tires. We got a right hand drive. Nice interior. And we got some accessories on top, including a, a roof, a sunroof. I like it that it comes with some accessories here, some jerry cans, and four boxes three in black and one in silver. Got the side here, got the back with a spare tire, painted rear lights, uh, a Land Rover logo here on the side. Yeah, very nice casting. And does it roll? Yep, no problem. Okay, I'm going to put this back. And we're going to take a look at this Christmas set from Mini GT. This one also comes with a Land Rover, but I must admit, I didn't buy it for the Land Rover. I uh, bought it because of the figures that are inside. You see it, Land Rover Defender 90 pickup. 2021 Christmas edition. Merry Christmas, everyone. Limited edition. That is what we like. Um, licensed vehicle. Oh, we see Mini GT is also active on social media. 
Here we got some text, freeze the image if you want to read it. Mm, let's see. Let's open it up. So it's really well packed. And I don't hope it says Merry Christmas 2021 because I can use it for next year. So here we got the Land Rover with Christmas deco. I like that. Right hand drive it is. Got some windscreen wipers here. Hey, we have silver paint on the side mirrors. I wonder if uh, any of you bought the same model and can you check if yours has silver paint on the side mirrors because I can't believe that Mini GT because this model also has silver paint on the side mirrors. I think they forgot. Yeah. Um, so we got a spare tire here in the back. Tow bar here or a hitch. This is also a metal base. A lot of details. Very thin tires. Lanced headlights, defender here on the front. Now we're going to take a look at the figures. Yeah, really cool. That is so nice. <laughs> the glasses on. Big bell. Yep. The stand, and here we got the Santa Claus. Now I hear you thinking this is not realistic. Uh, this the do, this doesn't look like a realistic moose or a Santa Claus. But don't worry, I have another Christmas set from Inno, and that one comes with realistic figures. But still, I like it. It's going to be a very nice diorama for uh, 2022 Christmas. Okay, let's put this back in the box. go and then we have the vehicle transporter from mini GT mm, Isuzu and Zeri Liberty walk oh it's a collab with tiny Okay, I didn't knew that. That's a surprise to me. Uh, I'm also a big fan of the brand Tiny. Mm, so let's see what we got here. Ah, we got a couple of picture uh, pictures of what is possible with this model. Here we got the barcode and article number. And here uh, a lot of text. Freeze the image if you want to read it. And it's a licensed product. That is what we like. Okay, let's see. Let's open this. Um, what is the best way? I think it's right here. Yep. This is looking good. Uh, really well protected, by the way. Heavy casting, I like that. So, check all the details. Ooh. 
Man, this thing looks cool. I was not expecting that. Already those rims are really cool. They look very realistic. Here are all the details on the side. Here, here, here. It's right here. Here, Liberty Walk. Performance. Here on top, the warning lights. Towing. Lensed headlights. Right hand drive. Not sure if it is available in a left hand drive. I don't think so. No silver paint needed because uh, the mirrors itself are gray or silver. And you see here, sorry, I'm moving too much. You see here, it got an extra mirror. Hope you can see it. So here, let's go to the other side. Oh, you can see. Ah, nice, nice, nice. We'll come to that later. This is the best looking uh, truck, transport vehicle I have seen so far in a 164 scale. Lanced rear lights, so much details here. This is super cool. Uh, here we have the base. We even have a spare wheel here. A lot of details. The base is plastic. Got double wheels here on the back. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, now let's see how it works. So you can Pull this back and then drop it. That goes very smooth. Be careful. Be careful. This is it, I guess. Yep. So it has to be like this. And uh, then you can drive a car. <laughs> okay, there we go. Run, 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 run. Without touching the bumper, eh? the bumper doesn't touch the truck. That is so cool. That is super realistic. Run, run, run. That's also realistic. The sound. Run, 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 run. Handbrake. Whoa! No, wrong, wrong button. Run, 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 run. Sweet. Hey, this is, whoa. Okay, so far, this is the star of the show. Definitely. Wow. I am very impressed by this casting, by this tow truck. Uh, transport vehicle, sorry. Nice. Okay, let's put this one over here. Cool set also, with the yellow pores, black rims, cool. Okay, then we arrive at a couple of Innos. And I see I'm already busy more than half an hour, so uh, I see how far I can get. And if I can't finish all of them, there's going to be a part two. So don't worry. Let's keep on going, let's keep on going. Okay, here, Inno 64, uh, 997 Liberty Walk, a beautiful Porsche. In a nice blue color and black rims again. That's what I like. Okay, let's take a look. WW Inno models, yep, okay. And here we got some text. Freeze the image if you want to read it. Barcode, article number for the ones who are interested. Now let's take this out of the... OK, 
Okay, there we go. I like it that it comes in a nice uh, display. Yeah, nice display. Sweet. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, that was very easy. Check out what a beauty. And here you see, okay, because with Mini GT, okay, now Mini GT is not expensive as Inno models, but here you don't see the brake claw. You don't see it. But with this model, they have a brake claw and a brake disc. Choyo tires, look at all those details. Whoa. Lance the headlights, nice the exhaust system. Liberty Walk. I think this Porsche should be on that truck because it's a Liberty Walk transport vehicle. It's going to be a nice photo for my Instagram. Hmm, do you have Instagram? Yes, follow me on Instagram. Um, Lanced headlights. Oh, I love this blue color. It's a right hand drive. Nice interior. Uh, yeah. We even have a mirror. How do you name it? It's not a side mirror, but it's the mirror in the middle of the car. Do you see it? That's very realistic. I mean, this one right here. That is super cool. Okay, now I think we're all curious um, about the base, so don't worry. go oh. awesome nice metal base 164 scale you know 64 we got a lot of details here or a lot just some um nice tires nice profile on the tires are the tires in the back a little bit wider it seems so Super cool casting. Now, the big question, does it roll? Yeah, yeah, it rolls. Very cool. Okay, let's take the Mini GT off and let's put the Liberty Walk on. This is also a beautiful set. Okay, we have to keep this together. So when I'm finished. There we go. Um, then the next one, no, I'm going to, I can't wait for it myself, so I'm going to do this one first. Ford Shira RS500 Cosworth. I saw it in a 143 or 118 scale from the brand Norath, if I can remember. And then I thought, just like this one over here, it would be cool if they made a 164. And guess what? Bam. In 064 made one. Um, let's take a look at the box. 
Got a QR code here. Scan to play. Do it. I'm not going to do it, so maybe you can do it. Um, freeze the image if you want to read this text. Official licensed product, that is what we like. Uh, barcode and article number for the ones who are interested. Let's open this up. Thanks. Again, nice display box. Oh, oh, whoa. We got an extra pair of wheels. Which one do you prefer? This one? Or this one? I think I choose this one. Hey, but that's super cool. Okay, let's take a look at the model. See, we got again a mirror in the middle. Well, it looks like it. Shara RS. Last headlights. Ooh, I like those things here on top of the hood to suck in the air. Nice interior, by the way. Check those seats. Awesome. Great dashboard. Uh, right hand steering. Now. Let's see if I can zoom in on the interior because we also have some details on the dashboard. I hope you can see it. But that is really cool. It's a little bit of a downside that this is painted. You would not expect that when you have details on the dashboard, you have a mirror here in the in the middle. It comes with extra wheels. Oh well, let's paint the few uh, the few. Uh, what is it? The thing for the few. Hmm. Got lensed rear lights for Chera. We see a small exhaust pipe, big ductile, and also here you see the heating on the back window. I like that. Now let's take it off the display. See how the base is looking. Here we go. So we got a plastic base. I was not expecting that. Uh, tires are okay. Front, same as in the back, but I think that is a very realistic. Uh, some details here on the base. Yeah, just a quick look around again. Overall, it's a really cool car. Oh, and I like that interior. That is so cool. Super cool. Okay, let's put this one over here. Oh, does it roll? Nope, it does not roll. The wheels are blocking. So this one doesn't roll. I know. Okay, let's put this right here. Uh, where's the box? Here, I'm going to put this back. Oh, and don't forget the extra pair of wheels. 
Then we go into this Honda City Turbo. I'm only going to unbox one. Well, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Because I see I'm a little bit in a time crisis. Um, already the this car is amazing, but the car is not the reason that I bought it. No, it's the scooter right here. We're going to see that uh, when I open the package. City Turbo 2. Picture of the car in combination with the scooter. Um, here some text. Freeze the image if you want to read it. Barcode, article number. Let's not wait any longer. I think the original one also came with a scooter when you bought it. Okay, let's open up the display. And let's first take a look at the scooter. Well packed. Here we go. Sweet. Isn't this cool? Yes, it is. And it got a lot of detail too. You see on the steering wheel? Awesome. I think it's very special that they can make something so small, so much detail nowadays. We have the back. Pretty cool. And does it stand by its own? Yes, it does. Focus, please. Thank you very much. Ah, that is super cool. Okay, I put this one uh, back. So, there it goes. Nice and protected, and then we're going to take a look at this Honda City Turbo. Beautiful color, by the way. Nice blue paint, very shiny. It makes me very happy, this car. What does it say on the front? Ah, Turbo! Ah, and it is... Uh, wrote the same as with an ambulance or fire truck. You can see it when you look in the back of your mirror. Bulldog, nice license plate. Cool, well done. Lens headlights. Here and here. We got uh, windscreen wipers. Nice interior, two colors, I like that. It's a right hand drive. Uh, now let's see if we have some details. Yes, we do. It's a little bit difficult to see, but you see some details right over there. If you look there, yep. And here on the back, again, nice license plate, hyper turbo. Super cool car. Okay, now let's take it from his base. Take a better look. Okay, so here we got the base, metal base. Metal base, and um, why not a metal base on this Ford? I do not understand that. Yeah, but overall, this is a very cool car. Love it. Does it roll? Yeah, 
not that super good. It's not made for a Hot Wheels track, obvious. <laughs> okay, let's put this back. Voila. Okay, we're also going to take a look at this one. Uh, basically the same casting, different color. Yeah, but why not take it out of the package? It's here on the table. Uh, barcode and article number for the ones who are interested. Uh, freeze the image if you want to read it. This one also comes with a scooter. And here you see it's a red one, white one, red one, so that is very nice. So a nice white color with a red stripe, red turbo 2 on the side. Again the interior has two colors, uh, you can see it is the same interior they use. We got a different license plate. That is very cool. I like those kind of details. Hyper Turbo 2, heating stripes on the back window, small exhaust pipe. Yeah, definitely cool casting. Fantastic. Um, let's put it back here. Okay, I'm going to do one more because I don't have enough time for the rest. I'm already busy one hour. And yeah, I'm a family guy, so I have to do things. Which one that is going to be? It's going to be this one. Uh, from Tomark Works, Motul. I think it's a Porsche. Let's see, it's a 164 scale. You can see Tarmac is active on social media. Freeze the image if you wanna read it. Barcode and article number. Small size, big heart. Um, do we have more information? It's a collab with Motul, I think. Raw welds. Okay, let's not wait any longer. And the reason I bought this one is it this car comes in a metal can. Look how cool this is. Um, let's see if I can get it on camera. Well, I do it like this. Why not? So that is very cool, right? A nice motul. So how can we open this? Uh, that's possible, but I think you have to open it like this. Yep. And okay, there we go. So a lot of foam for protection. And boom, there we have the car. A, a very nice Porsche. And I'm also waiting for a Nissan GTR from Mini GT, also a Motul version, Motul livery. And I bought a Motul diorama. So here we got some text to freeze the image if you want to read it. The barcode article number. Okay, let's open up the package. So in the future I will make some photos for my uh, Instagram and also for my YouTube channel in the community section. There we go.
Okay, we got a card here. Oh, that's interesting. This is 117. I think this is a limited edition. Uh, not sure how many are made. Can I see it on the box? No, I don't see anything on the box. Do I see it right here? Okay, but it comes with uh, a card. Chassis number. Cool. Cool. Okay, let's uh, open up this display. And let's take a look at the model. Whoa. We see a roll cage inside. black interior and here the windscreen wipers are on top of the car so they're a piece of plastic can I show it you can see it right here and if I move it okay. well you have to believe me I'm too scared that uh, I'm going to scratch the glass or something Paint looks awesome. It looks like blood or something. That's sick. Sleepers 3. Oh, I like those tires. Rims. I mean. Motul license plate. What do we got here? SSR on the back. Uh, another windscreen wiper here on the back. Not sure if you can see it and you can have, we can have a better look on the roll cage. Really cool car this. Some silver paint on the side mirrors. Okay, now let's take a look at the base. Here we go. We have a plastic base. Can't feel it that good. Same with this one. I think it's metal, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, with this casting, I have the same thing. I'm not really sure what it is. I can't feel it. Now it's plastic, 100%. Like the tires, do they roll? No, absolutely not. Oh, sorry. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, my friends, um, this is the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching and apologize that I didn't do any uh, anything of everything. So the rest of it will come in the second part, probably next week. I will try, see if I have uh, enough time. But again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I wish you all a very nice day. Bye.